Yeah, well, I was born in Nashville, Tennessee. My father uh, was a physician doing his internship there at, at uh, Baptist Hospital in Nashville. And then he had to practice in a rural area, which he did. He practiced in D'Iberville for five years. And then uh, when that was completed, we moved to Biloxi. So I attended Biloxi School, second grade, all the way up through high school. Uh, growing up, uh, we lived where the DMR building is now. It used to be Howard Memorial Hospital. I can remember when the hospital was built. We lived on Donwood Place. Later moved around the corner to the western end of Bayview Avenue. When I was 14, we used to uh, go out in the bay. We sailed a little bit, uh, water skied a little bit, used to flounder a lot, saw shell a lot. My family had a pier, so there was always something to do. I'm not a great fisherman. I'm not a terrific hunter. I don't play golf. I don't do any of that stuff. It just doesn't interest me. Um, then I went to USM for a year, then went to Perk for a year. Terrific place to get an education. Enjoyed Perk. Got my degree at uh, USM. All that aside, uh, my father was born in Summerall, Mississippi and moved down to the coast when he was a boy. My, my grandmother, his mother, worked in the shrimp factories. Uh, for a number of years and when Keesler Air Force Base opened she worked at Keesler and retired from Keesler. Uh, she lived on the point on Fowler Street uh, until she passed away. And uh, so I'm familiar with uh, East Biloxi. I'm familiar with Possum Neck and where that is. Uh, there are a handful of people in Biloxi who know where that is and what the significance of that is. Um, but having said that I'm a local guy. I worked my entire career here in Biloxi except for four years as the superintendent of the Bay St. Louis Waveland School District from 1992 to 1996. So uh, some kids I, I may have been your teacher. Uh, to some kids I may have been your principal either at the elementary schools or as an assistant principal at Biloxi High School. Then I was an assistant superintendent uh, in the Biloxi schools and served as superintendent from 2004 to 2011. That was a year before Katrina. I was here for Katrina. In fact, I've never missed a hurricane as long as I've been in Biloxi. And uh, then in the years after Katrina and uh, putting the schools back together and consolidating the schools. Then I retired in 2011 and immediately started going to city council meetings. I thought it'd be a good thing to do to learn about city government. Eventually, uh, after talking with Tom Wall, uh, he decided not to run, and I ran, and, and turned out had no opposition for my council position in Ward 5. So I've been doing that for two years. So I've, I've stayed engaged in the community. I am certainly not a professional politician. I'm not a career politician. I started going because uh, to council meetings because I'm a curious person. And we have an old saying in the teaching profession, when you're tired of learning, then it's time to get out of teaching. So I'm still interested in learning. 